Okay, so last week we did our similarity paragraph, okay? This week we are going to be doing our, or this week, today we are going to be doing our differences paragraph. So, we talked, I'm going to take this down so that, or pull it out a little bit because it's very hard for me to talk like this. So I'm going to make sure I stay back. So let's talk a little bit about differences, okay? When we did our similarity paragraph, remember what we did is we went through and we crossed off all the things that were pretty obvious, okay? We discovered that if I say that they are both in fourth grade, my readers can pretty much figure that out, right? Yeah. It's pretty obvious. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do the same thing for our differences. We are going to go through and we're going to look at my chart and we're going to cross off all the things on my chart that are the obvious, okay? If it's something that my readers are going to know, I don't want to state that. Why am I going to state something that they already know? I want to go something that is beyond what is expected, okay? So let's just look up here. If I say that Georgie is a boy and Jeannie is a girl, do you think that's pretty obvious? Yeah. I think that is pretty obvious too. So I'm going to go ahead, boys and girls, and I'm going to cross off boy and girl because, I mean, that's an obvious. I mean, they're going to know that just by reading it. Okay. What if I say Georgie is nice most of the time, but Jeannie is a little bit mean and annoying? Is that an obvious? Not really. Not really. I have to use my inferences. So remember, we've been talking about inferences. I have to use inferences to figure that out. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, Georgie is a dwarf and Jeannie is regular sized. Is that an obvious? No. no. You, you mean the author didn't tell me that as I was reading? Oh. Yeah. Did the author tell me that Georgie is a dwarf and Jeannie is regular sized? No. He did it. The author did it. The author did it? So if I went back and I look at my book and I look at that first page or that first chapter. Oh, and you look at it, and it says, um, where is it? Let me go to the back to that first page. Because the thing was, Georgie Bishop was a dwarf. Wait, the author told me that? That's pretty obvious, then. If the author's like, guess what? That's pretty obvious. So I'm going to cross that off. Georgie lost a friend. Jeannie never had a friend. If you write mean and nice, yeah. Well, let's leave it there because we can always come back to it later on. Um, focused and Georgie is focused and Jeannie gets distracted. Focused and nice. I don't think that's obvious. I think we had to figure that out when we were reading about it. Yeah. Okay. If Georgie was friendly. And Jeannie's a bully. Yeah, that's kind of obvious. That's not obvious. We have to infer that. We don't say that Jeannie's a bully. But I'm going to show you something. Do you see how bully and friendly is like nice most of the time and mean and annoying? Mm -hmm. Oh, so do you think that we can maybe combine those two? Yeah. Sure. I, know. I. You don't think we can? Uh, well, I don't know. Is Jeannie being mean is like being a bully, right? Georgie being no, nice most of the time is like him being friendly, right? Friendly most of the time. They're, they're pretty much the same thing stated right there. The difference is here, we kind of told you a little bit about it. Here we gave you a character trait. Oh. So what we are going to do today is we are going to write our differences. Now, if I take a look at my differences, you're going to see that I'm only going to have to write not one, but yeah. two. Two differences in this paragraph. Okay? If you look, it says difference, explanation. Difference, explanation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an example, and then I'm going to let you try to do this. So everybody's pencil needs to be down. Everybody's eyes needs to be up here, and here we go. I am going to say they are different. By how 
how they act. Pencil is down, please. Did I give you any examples from the story for that? In that sentence? I didn't give you an example. Did I give you anything from my top hat for that? Not really. I just told you they're different by how they act. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to explain it. I am going to go back and say, Georgie, oops, helps if I spell it correctly, right? Georgie is mostly friendly, or should I say friendly most of the time? Is friendly most of the time, whereas Jeannie is what? Is mean and annoying. Okay. So Georgie is so I just said my difference is they are different by how they act. Georgie is friendly most of the time, whereas Jeannie is mean and annoying. I just gave you one of my things from my chart here. So I'm going to check it off because, guess what? Or I could have said mean and a bully. Either way, it's fine either way. So what you are going to do right now is I'm going to ask for you to write my example down on your chart so that I can talk to the kids that are remote learning and explain how they can do theirs as an example. Exactly what you wrote down. Yes. When you are done, you can do your 10 jumping jacks. And then we will move on with the next part. And it froze. Of course it froze.